Ah, that honk that obviously signals the beginning of a new week of streaming. What's going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I should say a week of streaming by myself. Of course, we've been streaming here since uh, Monday uh, with Emberwind. But I am back with you today. Welcome, Arvanuts, to a Tuesday stream. It is uh, Tuesday, about uh, 1.10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and it is awesome to be welcoming you to the Patreon Field Chat Chosen Game of the Month, Spirit Fair. I hope everyone is doing well. Oh my goodness, it's Termo with the resub. I have become Death the Destroyer of Worlds. What's up, is Termo? How are you doing? Is Termo, how are you feeling, man? How are you feeling, is Termo? Before I go any further, before I say anything else, how are you doing, is Termo? Thank you for the resub, and how are you, how are you feeling, man? How is everything going on your end, before I say anything else? You're tired. How are you? I, I'm also tired, but I hope that tired doesn't mean, I hope tired is like tired in a, I'm tired, but I'm hanging in there sort of way. I hope is what it actually means. It's good to see you. Um, and, uh, what's up Dragon Spear and hello Trisha Mats. Um, but it's good to see you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, his term. I hope everything is going okay. So yes, uh, we are back, uh, with some, the Patreon field chat chosen game of the month, and it is time for some spirit fairer. Uh, which we've got going on uh, today. I don't believe we have Community D&D tomorrow, so I think this is actually our last stream of September 2020, uh, and the next time I see you will be in uh, the next month. It'll be October uh, of our next time. You woke up to take your kitties to the vet. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is that is some tiredness, I would agree. I would totally agree. That is the kind of tired that I can get behind. Um, <laughs> so, oh man, well I hope you get a little bit of rest and you enjoy this pleasant descent into the underworld with um, Spirit Fair today. Uh, before I get any further though, just a couple of reminders about ways to support us here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, please follow the channel. Check out the YouTube at exclamation point ArvTube, which has past broadcasts of this stream. Exclamation point ArvCord is the Discord channel. Um, exclamation point ArvTweets is the Twitter, where I will always tweet when I'm going live or about changes in my schedule. And you can find all of that on ArvinElleron.com. I should note, by the way, that I didn't realize that um, I will put you to sleep. I see how it, no, I see how it is. It's fine. I'll blame your cats. That's, that's basically what we're looking at. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I assumed, Trish. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so yeah, the one thing I wanted to mention was I noticed on the uh, Twitch VODs, actually it was Saad who first started me looking at this, that there are a lot of people who have been looking at the Twitch VODs that I didn't realize. Now, I know that they combine together views on the channel and views. I, I understand they do that, but still, um, there are a lot more views than I thought were going on um, for all of the streams, which is good. I wish that it was a little bit more clear up front that that's what was happening, as opposed to kind of this strange secret sauce algorithm that Twitch is using. But I mean, I'm certainly not going to complain about having uh, having solid numbers. So I'm glad to see that. So for those of you watching a Twitch VOD, hello and welcome. And keep in mind that you can find all of these things over on my YouTube channel as well, uh, where you'll be able to see them kept, I hope, for perpetuity. Um, uh, on my various playlists that you can find over there. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, continue to jump on board and watch us live if you can and let us know when you're here. Website for all this again is arvanelleron.com. On the financial side, exclamation point arv shop is my merchandise area for infinity and beyond and soon to be uh, for um, Esper Genesis and we have Adventures of Middle Earth stuff over there as well of course that supports us and you can get cool swag for yourself. The Patreon is exclamation point arv Trion, and you may notice that we have have uh, somebody jumped on board with an annual support, which means that uh, they jumped on board and now are annually supporting, which is a slight discount per month for them. And it certainly is great for the channel because it means that we have that kind of steady funding. So you can see we're up to 23 patrons and 244 per month after taxes and fees and all that kind of good stuff, which again is great because that really helps us with stuff we want to do for the channel. So I want to thank that person for having jumped on board and encourage you to do the same. You can get awesome uh, custom, uh, you can get uh, epic poem written about you. You can get a character background written for you. Uh, you can get a copy of one of my band's albums. Last night I was actually doing some rehearsal uh, and writing sessions with one of my band members and with another band, a, another musician who isn't maybe a band member yet, but who will be well known to the people in this channel. That's all I'm going to say with a certain musical inclination. Um, so that was really a lot of fun. And so we were doing some more. We're working on basically the fourth album, My Band The Road Is. So we're doing a little bit of work on that um, here in the pandemic in the year of our Lord 2020. So uh, yeah. So anyway, that is, uh, you can get one of my band's albums if you support us on the Patreon. You can get an epic character background, an epic poem. You can get, uh, hopefully move us towards other things uh, like a talisman tournament, like another Arvon 
about idle contest and so on. Um, so all those things are possible if you continue to jump on board and support. So thank you so much for doing that. Plus, of course, inspirations um, to uh, inspirations, uh, which allow you to support uh, the players on our various tabletop streams. And there were a lot of inspirations used this month. And I have a suspicion there will be a lot used next month as well, but I'll talk about that in a second. And then last but certainly not least, that sub button, which is Terma just jumped on board with just a little while ago, that resub or new sub button. Uh, this is the last, by the way, uh, day of September for us anyway. And so you can subscribe right now to the channel if you've never done so before and you're new, you can subscribe to the channel and do so for a dollar less per month than you would otherwise do because of the power of September. So it's 20% off basically. So now's the time to get on board if you wish to do so and uh yeah the as we reach the end of september there and again you can get custom sub badges and emotes and inspirations for the players and all that kind of good stuff so um even though it was on youtube the algorithm hit it oh interesting i didn't know that is term yeah i mean i keep everything now i try to keep everything pretty organized the origami king stuff is all under my our vocalists thing on YouTube. So the playlists are pretty well organized for the last few years now. But when I'm working on a new game, I usually don't, unless it's going to be like a very long, several years long game, like one of my D&D games. But if it's a video game that I don't know how long it's going to take, I won't put a playlist up there until it's finished. So for instance, there's no Kingdoms of Amalur playlist yet, although there's going to be when I'm done with that game, because I have a number of videos for that that I'll be putting up there. So yeah, that, that stuff will happen. Um, I can't have you hack your PC. I'm going to be finishing up uh, paying off Dragon Spear next month for the uh, help that he gave me in assembling my PC and I am currently using as we speak his wireless mouse and wireless uh, power pad um, thing right here this enormous power pad thing which is very very pretty and, and very cool and uh, the mouse seems to be working great so thank you Dragon um so i think that's the deal with that um so yes the sub button is very helpful and publishing exclamation point icarus for my icarus and Jelenic graphic novel details that's coming out november 10th which i'm super excited about november 10th uh, of this year is going to be the retail release and we're really trying to make a big push for this i got a couple of blurbs in on this the other day that i've seen the reviews from goodreads and elsewhere coming in and it's it really helps so all of that stuff is really helpful and again if you have gotten these and you would like to be able to uh tell the world and you like them and you'd like to be able to tell the world about it please go to goodreads and uh, leave a positive review both on icarus and on jelinek and if you could leave in your review something saying hey if you liked icarus but you thought it was a little short and uh, you were wondering where the second part is can you please go see part two jelinek which is linked right to icarus because a lot of the reviews have been like this is great but icarus is short i'm like i know jelinek is part two it's right there for the love of god so anyway, it's my own personal frustration with Goodreads, but um, any reviews like that definitely help our algorithm, and we really are going to try to make a big push on this when it comes out uh, in November, so November 10th for that. Exclamation point library is Tales and Tomes from the Forbidden Library, um, and uh, then the interest payments will be down to zero. <laughs> I know, it'll drop from zero to zero. Exact. Good point, Hillness. Dragon Spear, does that mean that you will still be paying more than $750 in taxes? I'm asking for a friend. I'm just curious. Um, I know, I saw that too, is Terma. Just remember, desperation is Terma. Desperation. That's a good call. I do have to end my bad end for music. It's a good call, Echo. I'll have to think about doing that. I forgot about that. Uh, so yes, anyway, so Icarus for that. Exclamation point library is Tales and Tomes from the Forbidden Library. It looks like there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out at once for me within a couple of months span because the retail of Icarus and Jelinek is going to come out in November. The uh, Tales and Tomes from the Forbidden Library print should be coming out anytime within the next six weeks because the proofs are already there. It's just a matter of them being shipped to places. So the next six weeks or so to eight weeks we should have those print editions of tales and tomes from the forbidden library from alligator alley entertainment so that's very exciting exclamation point library for that and then exclamation point gray shade ks that kickstarter is going to be coming out february 2nd of next year of 2021 and we have of course uh when i'm really pumped up for that i can't even tell you how awesome that is that that's the books, the games, man, I'm super pumped up for that. And we also have, of course, uh, the um, Kickstarter, uh, the, or I shouldn't say that, the fundraiser for Sound Clash, The Clampdown. That's the one day thing coming out in November, which will be Brandon O'Brien will be uh, spearheading most of that. And then we have also, in addition to those things, we have got the In the Moment Anthology, which is coming out from Mathis Arts. I'm not really involved with that in any way, but I'm promoting it because I think it's a great idea, and I'm hoping that other people will jump on board. So they've been talking about that and announcing it, and that's going to be uh, running next month for them. So, um, yeah, so just a lot of cool stuff coming up, and I, I hope that that will all 
uh, redound to everyone's benefit. It'll certainly help the channel as well, and I'm very excited about that material, so we shall see. Agreed, is term. I absolutely agree. And then last but certainly not least, exclamation point BLM, Black Lives Matter. We've been talking about the importance of this and will continue to do so, about the importance of valuing and respecting black lives and protecting black lives, most importantly, as well. I watched a little bit on uh, Prime Video. They have Lincoln, the movie Lincoln, with Daniel Day-Lewis's incredible performance. And... Um, you know, I know that there obviously it takes some liberties with historical reality, but not all of them. And it was just reminding me again about we've come a good distance and yet we have so much farther to go. And that begins with the importance of respecting black lives and having Black Lives Matter. So exclamation point BLM for that and exclamation point vote now, as Echo just put up there. That is extremely important. Vote numbers have been off the charts here in the states, early voting numbers, ballot requests and all that kind of stuff, which is great. I will be early voting myself. I'm not able to do that in New York until uh, the late October, but I will be early voting as will be in my entire family. We have our by Biden Harris sign up in the window, but it's really important that everyone get registered to vote, make a plan to vote, and then follow through. This is the fundamental requirement of a representative democracy, folks. If you don't vote, you cede your choice to those who will. Don't do that. Make your voice heard by voting now. Super important. Thank you, and please. Okay, now schedule wise, uh, let me get rid of. This, uh, let me get rid of that and let me turn on that. OBS actually just launched an update with some really cool features, including the fact that they now have the, I'm looking to the left at it, they have a um, toolbar uh, that basically whatever the source is on OBS, so in this case right now it's it's a webcam, but there are other sources as well. There's a little toolbar on underneath my preview window on OBS that isolates it so I can make specific changes without having to scroll down my source list, which is really neat. And there's other things that they've added. They've also made it so now you can use OBS as a virtual camera. So you can start that and then use that in other things like Zoom or whatever. So OBS, man, is doing really good stuff. I'm super excited and I'm, I'm happy about that, so. Oh, really, Isterma? No kidding. That's interesting, huh? I don't know. That's interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, so OBS has been making some good updates. But so schedule-wise, I just wanted to make a couple of things, uh, announcement. One long-term thing and then one short-term thing, short -term thing for today. The long-term thing is I want to mention something. I'm going to be making up the schedule in the next couple of days. I am swamped with work. I've got tons of grading and a bunch of other stuff to do. But I will be making up uh, the um, schedule for the next few weeks uh, coming up over the next couple of days. But I did want to let people know a couple of things. Oh, yeah, OBS Studio for sure. But I did want to let everyone know a couple of things here. The first is that uh, two long-term notes. The first long-term note is that coming up on Saturday, I am going to be doing a cooperative stream of Vermintide 2 with Sneaky Teak. Now, those of you who have been following the channel know that I raid Sneaky Teak a reasonable amount. Uh, he does a lot of different kinds of streams, but he's mostly a, or he often tends to be a strategy streamer. He likes roguelikes a lot as well, but he does a lot of Slay the Spire, which is where I first found him. Um, and he also does other kinds of streams with uh, Monster Train, uh, Risk of Rain 2, he does also, and some other things. But he actually reached out to me and said he was interested in doing some collaborative stuff. And you folks know that I'm always up for collaborative stuff. So we're going to be playing together some uh, Vermintide 2 on Saturday, and we're looking forward to it. I think we have similar views about how to construct and run a community and a channel, um, and so we're going to have a chance to play together and sort of chat with each other and hopefully exchange audiences and all that kind of stuff uh, and work to stem the Vermintide 2. So um, that's going to be happening on Saturday, and if it works out, then maybe we'll do it as a somewhat more regular thing. We'll see how that goes, but so I wanted to let everyone know about that. I know some people on here uh, when Coven Guy shows up, he'll be excited for that too but uh, yeah so sneaky teak and i are going to be doing a collaborative thing on saturday from 7 to 10 p.m and then after that i'll probably do some more kingdoms of amalur as i move towards the home stretch of that game uh the other long-term thing which i'm super excited about is um i told you that i thought this was a possibility and i think i can now confirm that this is the case so curse of strahd infinity and beyond is going to have only one session this month but oh, what a session it's going to be. So I want you all to mark your calendars for this. On Friday, October 30th, uh, 
we will be doing a marathon session to conclude the Curse of Strahd campaign. It will be starting at 7 p.m. Eastern on Friday the 30th, and it will run until 2 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, October 31st, Halloween. So we will be starting on Friday and ending on Saturday, Halloween. We were thinking about doing this Halloween night, but we decided instead to do it into Halloween because it just works with everyone's schedule much better. I already have a surprise or two confirmed for these folks, and uh, anyone who saw the last session, I think would agree this has been an amazing campaign it's been so much fun to be able to gm uh, dm and it's going to be coming to an end here at the end of this month and for those of you who are in despair fear not because infinity and beyond will be back we will have a show in november that will basically be talking a little bit about the old uh what happened with curse of strad and you know the sort of feelings about it and then setting us up for a return to the palace of the red pasha as we uh move forward to a little mini campaign uh of uh going back to the Tyranny of Dragons campaign, so your old friends uh, Cade and uh, your friends um, Fifely, and uh, I'm just trying to make sure I know about who the people are that are confirmed that are coming back, um, and uh, Fifely, Fifely and Cade and Gromnir, of course, uh, and Ryuvi, they will all be making their triumphant returns. So yeah, you're going to be seeing a return to a high-level version of that campaign uh, with a couple of levels. Again, probably just two to three months at most. It's a mini campaign. It's not a huge massive thing so that's what's going to be happening um and then after that we will be moving into in all likelihood eberron is probably what we're looking at next um and eberron which is going to be another big epic campaign starting in the new year um but that's that's basically what we've got planned so curse of strad comes to an end on October, on Halloween, people. I mean, how awesome is that? It's going to be great. And there will indeed be cosplay. I want that to be clear. I have already confirmed that there will be people dressing in costume. Uh, I may or may not be one of them. I'm going to do my best uh, to do what I can. I don't know how elaborate I can be, but I will try. But there will be costuming. And uh, the big one right now, which all of you need to bother, has been Sod. Because Sod has kind of been like, well, I've never got dressed up for anything in my life. But as you may have heard Sod say last time, Sod has now got his sister is uh, having a new baby. And so Sod is going to have twice the number of nieces to look after. And so I was like, listen, Uncle Sod, if you want to be able to be ready for having young children, then it's going to be important to be able to dress up at a moment's notice. And so anyone who sees him, just make sure, please don't actually do this. I'm joking. But you can maybe obliquely reference the idea of, hey, I heard you might be getting into cosplay, and that would be great if you could do that because it's going to be it's going to be awesome so anyway that's happening with um with this i'm very excited about it it's going to be good times i have never heard of bunkers and badasses um i've never heard of that yeah actually is terma um that is interesting October, because we did, in September, we did Metroid Fusion. October is uh, D&D with viewers. That's the way that works. And then November will be the wrap-up of, um, will be the wrap-up of Metroid Fusion. Although I guess I could theoretically make, because actually Halloween night, I'll have to think about this as term, it's possible that I could have Halloween night run into November and then that would technically count as being my November day that I actually, the November month that I actually do uh, Metroid Fusion. So maybe that's possible. That would be Saturday night anyway, not Friday night. But we'll see. I'll think about that. That's that's a possibility. I have been enjoying Metroid Fusion. Um, so what I've never even heard of Bunkers and Badasses, Hilmas. What is that? Never even heard of that. Um, that. Yes, Dragons. Dragon is going to be cameoing. That's exactly right. Uh, okay, now the other thing I want to mention is just a shorter term thing, and that's scheduled for today. We're doing Spirit Fair right now. We're going to do this for about... Um, probably an hour and 45 minutes, not quite two hours maybe, which is the Patreon Field Chat Chosen Game of the Month. I'm looking forward to that. Then, over on GOGcom, uh, I am going to be doing a release stream of, believe it or not, Talisman, the digital edition. I cannot believe this has finally released on GOG. This game has been out since 2014. You all know that this is my favorite board game. D&D is my favorite game of all time. But my favorite board game ever is Talisman. And it's not really even that close. I love Talisman. Um, and I have the second edition, all expansions and everything of Talisman. And the digital edition is amazing. And I haven't even been able to keep up with all of the different expansions and everything. So it's finally available on GOGcom. Finally. And uh, they just, they surprise announced it yesterday. Like, oh, by the way. I'm like, what? 
So I have to do the release stream of that. I was going to do the Witcher 3 uh, Wild Hunt Blood and Wine and wrap that up today during Pen and Pixels, but I can't. I can't. Talisman. It's too good. So I am going to be doing the release stream of this with your good friend Darksaber 2K from my D&D with GOG Storm King's Thunder group, who is also, of course, a GOG streamer. I'm going to be doing that with him, and we will be joined by at least one other person, a mystery guest that I cannot tell anyone about yet, but it may have a, jo a GOGCOM connection. So we're going to be playing that um, for the release stream coming up here at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, which is super cool. Uh, and then, like I say, I'm super excited. It's also cross-play, by the way, so you can play with people who have it on Steam, which is awesome. So, again, I wish it hadn't taken Nomad Games so long to get it over to GOG, but I'm glad it's there now, and I'm going to be playing it because that's going to be great. And then next week, I will finally wrap up uh, Witcher 3 uh, Wild Hunt Blood and Wine, leave that game behind, and get ready to move into my next series on Pen and Pixels, which is going to be Vaporum Lockdown. So that's what we've got looking on. So, yeah, that's the only reason. The only reason, Arudnell. I would not have skipped The Witcher, but it's Talisman. I just, I can't. I just, you know, I can't. It's, it's too good. So, anyway, that's what we've got going on. Uh, then we will be off on Wednesday and Thursday. And we'll be back on Friday, probably with Kingdoms of Amalur uh, Reckoning. Although, again, I have to check my schedule. And that's good because the next two days, uh, I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot of grading. I've got a lot of grading to do. Um, but we are up to midterms already. Can you believe that? We started so early in my school year because of wanting to get done with the semester and send the kids home uh, at Thanksgiving so that, and then not have them come back because we don't want sort of spreading potential coronavirus spreading one way or the other. So that means that I'm going to be basically done with classes as of the week of Thanksgiving, and then I'll be doing exams and grading. So I'll be done with my semester basically like by the first week of December. Um, so I'm already up to midterms. So we're in the middle of midterms now, much earlier than I normally would be. Normally, it's like two and a half or three weeks from now. So that's very odd to me. But in any case, we're doing midterms right now. The good news about that, though, is that after that first week of December finishes, I am on sabbatical in the spring, people. That means I am not teaching in the spring. So after a 20-year-plus career and 18 years at that point at St. John's, I am having a sabbatical, which means I'm going to be working on research for two projects, including one that has some interest to this channel, actually. Um, and I am going to be otherwise uh, doing stuff like homeschooling my kids uh, because of coronavirus, etc. But I'm also um, obviously, therefore, going to be doing stream stuff and all that stuff and focusing on things like the Gray Shade Kickstarter and all that. So that means that from December, the second week of December, basically through August, let us say, um, I'm going to be not at school, which is going to be the first first ever time that I've had that experience. It's going to be the first time that I haven't actually been teaching in the spring semester here since, um, since two, th either like either in school myself or teaching since, uh, 1997. Because in 1996, I worked for a year after my master's degree. Between 96 and 97, I worked for a year at Electronics Boutique, trying to make some money to get rid of student debt. <laughs> like that worked. Um, but that was the theory anyway. And so that was before I started my PhD. And I started my PhD in the fall of 97. So from 96 to 97, I was off. So this is going to be the first time in 24 years, basically, um, that I have not been in school uh, during that I've not been in school during spring. It's so weird. I like, I, I it's so strange. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, I honestly kind of need the rest. Um, and, uh, I'm still going to be doing a lot of work. I'm doing research work. They didn't just give me the sabbatical to be nice. They gave it to me because I'm doing research work, but it's research work that I can do on my own schedule and I'm not going to have to grade and stuff. So it's going to be, it's going to be cool. Just, I, you all know I love teaching, but I am looking forward to the break. I will fully admit. So that's what we got going on. Very exciting. And yeah, exactly. All Twitch all the time. It's going to be that. So no, Cujo, five years before my birth. Smart guy. You have any thoughts, Cujo, on the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning Stanley Cup victory? Any thoughts about the Dallas Stars not getting it done? Mm-hmm. Exactly, Arudinell. And I was an assistant manager too. They offered me uh, management of stores several times. And I was kind of like, yeah, I can't do that. And they're like, really? Because, you know, it would be so beneficial to your career. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to be a retail electronics boutique manager for my career. I've got school to go to. But I had to kind of keep that on the down low until I eventually left. And what I told my manager at the time, when I let him know about, I gave him my notice a month out. And I told him I was doing that. He's like, I knew you weren't staying. I knew you were going to do that. 
And I'm like, you did? He's like, yeah, you were obviously going to go back to school. It was obvious. <laughs> it's like, okay, well. So anyway, good times. All right, with that said, um, let's do that. <laughs> Jeez. I am on board with the Green New Deal, let me tell you. Hey, you guys have no idea. Listen, I've been growing the hair longer. I've got the I've got the Stephen Colbert look now. I'm feeling very comfortable with my age. I'm good. You know, I'm 48. I feel good about it. I'm I'm, you know, I've had definite struggles and moments where I have not felt so good and have felt tired and stuff, but I'm I'm trying to, you know, commit as much as I can. Um, you know, and I would say that during all of the time um, that I've uh, been old enough, you know, back in those days, old enough to be paying taxes, uh, I was always paying more than seven hundred fifty dollars. Somebody I know is broke, and I think at the debate he's gonna choke. He's just a piece of crap. And that's why I made up impromptu raps. Oh, who's sitting by my computer screen? Thinking about how his jealousy turns him green. Oh, who's sitting by my computer screen? Waiting for president to lie. Ah, I. <clears throat> hmm. And I never owed four hundred million to the Russians. No, I didn't. Oh man, I can't wait for that guy to lose. All right, none of that. Let's get on to Spirit Fairer. Um, now I have to mention about this game, by the way, um, that I have heard a lot of good things about Spirit Fairer, and I have played literally not a second of it. All I did was open it up to make sure that it captured properly, and it does. So we're going to be in good shape for this, I think. We will see. But here we go, Spirit Fairer. Has it, I know Rock God played this? He's not in chat at the moment. Has anyone played this game? Has anyone played uh, played Spiritfarer so far? Yeah, it's such a joke. It really is. You played a bit of it? No, I don't need to reset my screen for this one, Trish. <laughs> okay, I've heard very good things about it, so let's let's kick it into high high gear. Let's do it. Of course, on Gog Galaxy. Thank you to Gog for sending me a giving me a code as always. Thank you. Thank you to Gog. <laughs> I will adjust audio as soon as needed, so let me know how audio goes. Okay, how's how's volume on this, folks? You hear it? Is it good, bad, indifferent? Okay, good. I mean, it's not very loud music at the moment, but that's because it isn't. What is this one? Yes, yes, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I don't I don't think he has any knowledge of how absolutely hated he is. I don't think I don't think he knows. I don't think he could handle I mean, cuz he's a narcissist and all he cares is people paying attention to him. I get that on a certain level, but like he's just so hated. So hated. Okay. Give me one second here whilst I address things. Okay, because I'm also looking at people who are joining us. Good. Um, right. Exactly. It really is a feature, not a bug. Like, it's just, it's just, you know. Okay, here we go. All right, new game time. Here we go, folks. Let's make it happen. You can also play this co-op, I saw, which is cool. Reminds me of Banner Saga animation. Does it really, Hillness? That's awesome. Ah, finally.
Um. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. Spirit Ferrer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Side note, if this gives me all the feels the way that uh, To The Moon did, I'm going to be frustrated. No, I mean, not frustrated, but I'm just going to be like, oh man. Because To The Moon... I love the art. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. As opposed to Everclear, the former rapper who used to play with House of Pain. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. <laughs> that too is Terma. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit you are the new spirit farers after all. Just one thing. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it.
Okay. All right. Ooh. Press space to jump. Hold space to jump higher. Okay. Hold W while jumping to climb through platforms. Okay. Hold S and space to drop down. Ooh! That was a mistake. I jumped too fast. Press E to interact with the glowing outline. Okay. Stella! Stella! It really is you! Now stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Yeah, it's interesting this term, although... I don't know. Unreasoned hope, perhaps. But hope also allows you to go long enough that you can let your practical side catch up with your idealistic one, you know? You look good! And Daffodil is here too, I see. Hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Oh, you know, one of the things I wanted to mention about community, about um, channel points. I noticed also that there is a new thing they've introduced called community challenges where you can set up a community challenge thing to basically have people pool their points together to get some big awesome thing. And I have to decide how to manage that. I, I have to decide if there's a way to like set something up to do some big massive, you know, thing that people could use those points for. Because I'm still thinking of other things to use channel points for, it's just I've only got so much time in the day, so. But anyway. Uh, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit farer. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. I know, Mrs. Dunzel, I know. I'm try I know, it's just I only have so much time, but I've been trying to think of that too, so... Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now, of course. See that boat over there? Is that my new boat? That's the one. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the Sparefarer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Oh, I have to do it that way? Oh. Um, what? I don't... You know... <laughs> what the f... Why can I not... Okay. Gotta love platformers. Exactly, Aerith. Mm. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. We've got a firework reindeer. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm. So... The way I see it, this boat is yours now. It's a cigarette-smoking reindeer. Don't you think? Good. 
And as you are the Spiritfarer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Request completed. Personal connection. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Double chocolate chip cookies are great. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who could fix mm -hmm. your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this mm -hmm. ship move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin mm -hmm. in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go, open up that mm -hmm. cabin, Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. All right. Uh. But, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. Um. How do I? What the heck? Oh. Alt Harbor. Okay. Set destination. Albert Shipyard. Let's do it. Set sail, Captain. <whistles> Stella, what? Yeah. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything but myself. Yeah. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Sharon, the Everdoor, the Spirit Farers, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm. Yeah, true facts, Trish. It's the surprise part that's the problem. Oh, look, it's a delicious. Oh, raisins. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this mm -hmm. ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Gotta do some fishing. Got a fish! Hell yeah. Another herring! Okay, that's great. Thanks. Fun times. Okay, whoops. My bad. Looks like we made it. Albert's shipyard discovered. 
Pumpkin spice. That's not bad. It's not terrible. We got some pumpkin Cheerios, which my wife liked. I like pumpkin stuff okay. It's not like my favorite thing, but... Here we are. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. Okay. Blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Oh, nice. This looks like a possible our vocalist game, everybody, after Origami King, maybe. Welcome to thy shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. <laughs> I'm Albert. I've been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. And it's funny, because Albert's also like the head of Sunkissed Tuna, like the old commercials used to have it. Yeah, yeah, that was good times. I've been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fairer? Well, <laughs> of course you are. Uh, anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. <laughs> uh, let me see what you have here. That's a nice little dinghy. <laughs> uh, funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. You see, Sharon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he'd never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. <laughs> and let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Uh, don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. Oh, really? His turn? The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Uh, mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. It's kind of like getting a Mac, you know? It's a good starter computer, but when you really want to move up... <sighs> yeah, he's already hooked me on him, though, his term, that's the problem. I don't think I can worm my way out. Guys just baited me the whole way. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. That's what we call bait and switch. <laughs> ah, simply direct me to upgrade the ship. All right. Okay. So we've got this. Oh, wow. Icebreaker opens up a passage. Figurehead of snakes intertwined makes the boat go faster. Dang, look at all this stuff. All right. We did it. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. <laughs> I don't, what are you talking about? Seriously, is Terma. <laughs> Has that little apple that people go crazy about. Rah, 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 rah. I love the fact that his laughing is rah, 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 rah. <laughs> what a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. <laughs> Come back when you feel your boat's getting too crowded. Cheers! Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Okay, so I gotta go in here. Up here. Wait. No, that's not it. Above the cabin. Like... Literally above the cabin? So I have to jump up here the whole time? Alright. Okay. Edit. Um. Is 
salvage. Okay. We got an old shoe, empty bottle, maple log, old carpet. All right. You did a wonderful job, Stella. <laughs> I was wondering about that, Arudinal. Fish oil and disappointment. And what did it net us, really? And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Oh, I need that. Unnecessary amenity. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Oops. All right. I'm gonna build a guest house. Everybody's welcome in the guest house. Oh, chat, you look! Chat, look! Oh, how awesome is that? We clearly need a ladder. Oh my god, we so much need a ladder. Dun 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 Hell to the yes. That is that is absolutely awesome. Alright, just go ahead and climb. Climb right on up there. Right on up. There you go. Enjoy your guest accommodations. Yes. Perfectly safe. Very nice. This guest house is very pretty. Exactly, Trish. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. And there's only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it's always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They'll appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. All right, I will do that by leaping! Okay. Apparently, we can survive any drop. All right, is there a quick save? There's not a quick save. Oh, there's save and quit. Okay. Does this not have save anywhere? Make sure our guest house is still there. Okay, good. All right, go hunt down some jellyfish, right? Um, in here. Yeah, that's that's always what I look for. Aha! That looks like a pure fear patch if I ever saw one. Let's go. So, and that star, very pretty. And that star above. Screenshot. <laughs> Our boat goes to DZ. I'm going to actually uh, do a little bit of fishing while we're doing that. Dun, 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 dun.
I wish they had a dog instead of a cat, though. <coughs> Lots of herring. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. We're almost to the Patch of Fear. Uh-oh. Better go up and talk to her. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. <laughs> I could just sit here. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, come back. No. What even is this? Glims is like currency, I think, right? Oh, I missed it. Shoot. I think Glims is like the currency you use to buy different things, if I'm not mistaken. Fantastic. Okay, hey, Coven. So far, so good. So far, so good. How you doing, man? Okay, I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star, and without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Ah! Okay. Um, that is up there. Not that. All right, we need to build ourselves a kitchen. I absolutely adore the fact that you can build this up on ladders. I can't even tell you. All right, I think to make it easier, I'm just going to do that. There we go. <laughs> no, I I think I had a guess anyway. All right, so I've got 445. Okay, I can build a garden. What else have we got, though? Guest house. Don't know what that is yet. All right. I don't have enough to do the rest of that. Okay. Lovely kitchen. Damn right, it's a lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Dear Mamina, put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You've got this. Alright. Corn! Um, oh, I have to move it. <laughs> I 
Popcorn! Alright. But I also need some fish. We obviously needed some fish. That's pretty clearly, obviously, what we need. Wait, what? Did that not cook? I probably need to keep that in for longer, don't I? Yeah. Whoops. Alright, let's try it again. Her name is Gwen. I'm making it cooked. I know. I like. I hope it's. I wish it were salmon, not herring. Okay, is that enough? I hope. What? What the heck? Do I have to let this cook? Okay. Alright, we're gonna put this in a maple log in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to just like wait for it to ring or something. Yeah, I'll let the timer finish. Probably. Do you want a leftover melted apple cider donut sundae? That's caramel sauce at the bottom. Apple cider donut sundae. Yeah. Is this what you you, you, you this is what you brought me? Apple cider donut. Yeah. I don't know, chat. Do I want a, a leftover melted apple a leftover cider. melted apple cider donut sundae? Do I want that, chat? Yes, we do. Please share. Yeah, I mean, there's caramel sauce at the bottom. What happened? See, but Trish, you said we, and I was asking if I. Well, okay. they aren't they getting to experience? Yeah, that's right. It's apple cider donut soup. It's, it's like. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, so I think you're good. It would melt anyway, I think. It sure would. And you'd have to eat it so slowly, it would melt. So I think we need still on it. I understand that you're trying to explain yourself, and I appreciate. Just because it has caramel doesn't mean that everything gets by me. A lot of it gets by me because it has caramel. I'm just saying that I feel justified there will be no complaints that I have to no. care about. Yeah. No. I think that's fair. Yeah. I mean, she's kind of right. Like, it's apple cider. I mean, it's apple cider. I mean, listen. It, it actually is vanilla ice cream apple cider and there's caramel in it that's that's i mean if i'm gonna be really fair here there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with that combo yeah it's good all right where was i sorry i was cooking food wasn't i all right so timer Hey, Coven, did you hear that I announced that um, Sneaky Teak and I are doing a collaborative stream of Vermintide 2 on Saturday at 7 o'clock? Oh, no. Weren't there all these things about that you can make, like, um, there's ways to make flour or to do, like, to make flour without obvious flour being there? Or is that not possible? Yes. Yeah, I just announced it today. He actually reached out to me so I, and asked if I wanted to do some co some cooperative thing. I said, sure, and we looked into it, and we decided, Vermintide. Okay. I'm here. Grilled fish! 
Ha ha! Okay. Now one more thing I want to cook is the log. You do have your celestial Bengal spice tea. That you do. I'm a little troubled given the character that you play in Dragon of Ice Spire Peak Trish that ble that uh, Bengal Spice Tea has not made an appearance and like an appearance that you've announced to chat before. I feel like that's kind of a, you know. Is that kind of a slam dunk? I'm just saying. Okay, so it's going to keep cooking even when I leave, Coven. Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Hello? I'm trying to talk to Gwen. Hello? Hi, hi, hey. Can you... Um... Have your food. Hey. Hey. Hello. I can't. Hey. I'm re I'm ready. I'm ready to talk to you. Hello. I know you're hungry. I can't. It's, look, what? Yeah, I, I've i got. What? I. What the heck? So maybe I need to bring her the log also? Coal. Interesting. But I don't I don't know how to interact with her is the problem. Like I'm trying to Maybe like Can I can you leave the couch? Like, what? I, I can't... I don't know what to do here. I, I can't give her anything, apparently. I'm ready to give her stuff. And give her popcorn. No, I can't. All right, well, anytime you feel like coming out, I'm ready here to give you your food, okay? I can't. I don't... I don't know. Hello? Cool. That's right, you can smell it. Thank you, Coven. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. You need a good meal once in a while. 
It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food, and that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky, I can eat anything, just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. Obol? Obol? It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table there's both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things, and turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which, in turn, will be used to craft more things. Oh, boy. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Alright, well, first of all... We are going to build us a... Oh, maybe we can't. No, I need maple logs and limestone. For a field. And I need maple logs and lightning in a bottle. Alright, so we got to go to Mostine Island then, because we can't build anything else yet. So, let's do it. Fishing time. Oh, shoot. So cozy. Got an old shoe! Um... Okay. Old shoe. Old, old shoe. Old shoe. Old, old shoe. Old shoe. Wonder how exactly while traveling through the ocean a shoe just landed on our... Okay. I've done enough of that. We're almost there anyway. <laughs> very nice, very nice, Rudno. Look at that. Mostine Cove discovered. Hey, what's up, Rippin? How you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing, man? Good to see you, Rippin. I hope you and yours are staying safe and doing okay. Good to see you. Alright, what we got? We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. bottle, medium glim bottle. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Oh, really? Oh, man. I wish I could say, you know, obviously that's not a one-off, as you know. I mean, that's, that's going to be everywhere until we get past this thing. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear it, but I'm glad that you've got a positive attitude about it, but it's, I know it's, it can't be easy. I do consider myself extremely fortunate that my job is pretty stable, knock on wood, um, in terms of, you know, where I'm at and everything, so. You can cut it down. I guess it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight...
Well done. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Haha, oh, we also got some raspberries, yo. Um, corporate being corporate. Nah, no, I hear that, man. Yeah, this is called Spiritfarer. So I just started playing it because this was the one chosen by chat for me to play. You play this character who takes over for Sharon. You're, you're a Spiritfarer, so it's your job to basically shepherd the spirits to their final destinations. And apparently there's like a big crafting component in it. And like it's a platformer also. And it looks like there's a bunch of stuff going on with it. So I've just started it. I like the art style, but I don't know a whole lot about it yet. Ooh. All right, I got it. Oh, I did it. Come on, man. I released it. Nice. Here we go. So, yeah, it looks like it's a platformer. And a crafting thing, and... And it's very kind of like... It seems very chill to me. I, I can't really tell so far, but... And supposedly there are all the feels. That's the rumor. Yeah, I was wondering about that too, Kujo. Yeah, it's a little bit like that. It, it's an it's definitely indie from uh, Locust. I think it's Thunder Locust Games. Um, it's got some indie feel to it, yeah. Is that all the wood? I guess that might be all the wood. Hey, did I get enough? I may not have gotten everything yet. This is reminding me a lot of a cross between um, between the Banner Saga in terms of art style, and then it reminds me a little bit of that cooking game. Do you remember that we played this on stream? It's like a it's like a cooking like um, like Japanime style cooking thing where there's like battle competitions, like cooking battle competitions, and it's, it feels a little bit like Tetris. Also, um, I can't remember the name of the game though. Yeah, a bit. Okay, I'm going to assume that... I guess I've got everything I need. As I say, I like the graphic style, though, and there's there's a lot of cool little things happening in the game that I like. Alright, well, I guess we're going back. This is our ship that you're about to see. And see, here's our ship, and we've already built some of it. Uh, you actually are building on the ship as well. So this is my blueprint station. And you can see that's a guest quarters and a kitchen next to it, and you have to feed people, too, the spirits on your, on your way. So I guess I'm going to build... Oh, I have plenty. All right, I'm going to build a field. And we're going to build this field. Let's see, where do I build the field? There we go. Alright. And a garden. We don't have enough for the garden. Nor do we have enough for another kitchen, although we don't really need that. We already have the guest room. Okay. Um. A 
field. Okay. This is Gwen who tells me, who's basically a friend or something who's been telling me about stuff. Ha, huh, it's better looking than I thought. There is a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all you have to do is plant feed seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the fields, so don't bother trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. He set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Incorporated, a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. There's the thing you were talking about, I think, is Terma, about the... About what's-his-face? What, the guy from from Animal Crossing, who I already don't remember. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Well, welcome to all worlds. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird, then. Alright. Hummingbird it is. Nook, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ooh, we got more of this, too. Let's hit... What is this? Crates. Interesting. Alright, let's go... Here, and then we're going to go to there next. problem. What? Ah, uh, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want, tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my fort. Mm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, mm -hmm. Stella. Have a good night. Alright. Time to go hit up that bed. How wholesome and calm. Alright. Press C to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Okay. Wakey wakey! Good morning. I better hug you before we get to the jellyfish. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful, such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. That's great. Optimistic. She's hungry. Oh, all right. Here. Um, comfort food. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. Okay, now she's happy. Here we are again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light. They've stolen all hope for me. I'll never get used to it. And a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. Alright, you can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Yes. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Oh, I know. I'm ready. 
came here on purpose. I'm really glad that I built this ladder here because it makes it a lot easier. I was I had no idea that they were gonna come in this direction, but oh, shoot. Shoot, darn it. Right. Come back here. I need you. Come back here! Ah. guys came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I love it. I love it. Not as good with the others as I would have wanted, but... Mm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. Yeah, for sure, Coven, I agree. But I'm not surprised one bit. This is the GOG version which I got, which they gave me, so I can't complain about that, obviously. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Mm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm. We just got out of elementary school. We were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Feeling much better. Recently hugged, eating a meal. Um, here, have a raspberry. No, thank you, Stella. I'm not hungry right now. All right. Well, then you're good. Okay, now we got to go sail to that other place. Vaz, not Vaz. It's a vase! Vase. Is that the idea? Alright, there's Hummingbird. Alright, Hummingbird, here we go. Yeah, he does, Kevin. The music also is reminding me a little bit of aspects of To the Moon. Let's go! Hummingbird awaits! Yeah, I know. Uh, we're, we're going to Hummingbird. Relax. Ooh. That was pretty sweet. Cost you more in a year. It's a vast not that's funny. It's pretty cool. I should actually have done some more cooking, I wasn't thinking. I was too busy trying to look awesome jumping off roofs. Okay. 
Hummingbird discovered. Okay. All right. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore's set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. <laughs> right, like, I'm just like, okay, check this out. Then I'm like, wait, why am I hungry? All right, welcome to Hummingburg, people. Let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary? No, I haven't, Coven, and I have a feeling because of personal experience that's not a game that I'm going to be interested in playing. It seemed... I've heard good things about it. I actually read an article about it that was interesting, but I... A little too close to home, to be honest with you. Or Marguerite? It's Missy! Wait, no. Esh! Don't tell me, it's... Oh, shoot. I'll get it. Someday. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's the only one I got. Not much of a shrine. Never seems to say a lot. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. I feel like when you zoom in, the drawing is not as crisp as I might have expected. Like, the, the lines are slightly blurry around the edge or whatever. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it is a little surprising to me that it doesn't increase the resolution as you zoom in a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Yeah, yeah no, I, I that's, that's what I noticed, Dragon. I don't have any control over that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Bengal Spice... What's the... Is that a granola bar? What is that? Oh, I can see it. Grain-free cinnamon almond. Aha. Nice. Very nice, Trish. Very nice. Do you put no cream or milk or anything in your tea, though? I guess for herbal tea, I don't always do that. But for regular tea, I do. Uh, sorry, folks. Just two things I'm addressing. Give me one second here. Sorry, folks. One more second. Um.
Okay. Alright, so it looks like... Okay, good. That's all. No other fires to worry about. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, where was I? I was doing this. Okay, the two slots need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it, but to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Ooh, you can get a double jump. So one more obol and I can get double jump. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. That's what we want. Hi. I'm busy, miss. Good day to you. Hi. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I am okay. You look fine. Oh. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. I, I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Oh. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Leave me alone, you telemarketer! <laughs> Leave my door alone. Leave me alone. Be gone, stranger. Hey, join my ship. Join my ship and I won't bother you. Be gone. I can't. <gasps> Wait, how do I... Uh-oh. Did I glitch out the game? Leave me alone. We are not friends! Stop rattling my knob. <laughs> oh, man. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden? Maybe a pool? I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I, I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Oh, man. Good times. All right. Good. There's Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look at what he's selling. Oh, boy. Okay, Theodore. Oops. Let's, let's talk first. Step right up, potential prospect! Wicked Raccoon Incorporated! We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever! You got the glims, I've got the goods! I've got all the ways to make you spend those hard-earned glims! Step right up! Okay. What was what? Those prices are out of control. I won't let them get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <laughs> what? Madam, what's the meaning of this? My friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, just fair prices. I... I... So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But... Yes. Yes, of course. I, I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You've all I've ever wanted. So my arms are open wide, because you know just what to say, and you know just what to do. And I want to tell you so much. Upstairs crew. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Oh, don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. And I guess you could also use the stairs in that house, but some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. Uh, 
All right. Key for Hummingbird. Opens the door next to the bro. 5,000. Okay, linen seed, limestone, and maple log, right? Okay. She loves coffee. You don't have a garden yet. Okay. Let's do another linen seed. Okay. Oh, and I can also sell stuff, too. Hehehe! <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that I have something that I can sell. I have some old shoe or something. Man, I had an old shoe. Fantastic. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Yeah, I need that double jump to get to that ladder. Or 5,000 for this... For the, um... 5,000 for, what do you call it, for the, uh, to open that door so I can go up the stairs. Oh. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Incorporated, only carries garbage wares. Seeds, oh. logs, rocks, all useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Thank you. Oh. Need to find another spirit so I can get another obol. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with a level three rogue ability eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? <sighs> yes. Oh, I thought you had something to say. I didn't. What'd I get? Ooh, I got some turnip and some carrot seeds. Hell to the yes. Actually, wait, wait. Nope, 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 nope. Go in here. If I go up here. And out here. And then here. Oh, I could have made it. Mm. Could have made it up there. Let me try that again. What? Oh, really? Okay, well. I see there's a spot there, though. I want to try to get that thing. Oh, no! I was there! Why? Could have been a contender. I was there. I was there! I know I got there once. I got there once, I can do it again. I am determined. I... Oh, I just can't stop and... Uh, I can't stop fast enough. I'm like, I got there. And then it's like, stop. Oh, god damn it. That's annoying. Right, come on. Damn it. I am determined to find where I'm going. Alright, come on. Man, I was... <sighs> Son of a bee sting. Son of a biscuit. Determined. I know I can get there. I just have to. St the problem is you have to pull over to get there, 
and then the minute you like you don't realize you're on it for like 0 0.01 seconds before you have to stop doing it or you just slide off again. Damn it. Are you serious? I'm gonna get this thing. right there. We just need to hit this thing. Just need to hit it. Come on. <sighs> I was there. And both times I slipped off. I have to do... What is this now? You have to jump before the edge? See, I think I should have... I think that should have landed right there. That time I fell, but... Hey, Echo. I wonder if I... Actually, now that I think of it, maybe... May, I understand what you're saying, and maybe that's... Shoot. It's just you have so little time. Ha! Ah. How do I do the thing? How do I get in here? Hey! Can't get in there. Shoot! I could I could I couldn't get in there anyway, it doesn't matter. Maybe I can go up though. All this time I could just do this. <laughs> well, now we saw how that worked, chat. Just showing you how it worked. Hungry? You always hungry? Oh, she can't eat fruit. Alright. Well, let's get back to the boat and feed you. <laughs> Cabbage, carrot, potatoes. Alright, I gotta go cook some stuff over at the kitchen. I also have to plant some seeds. So let's plant some seeds first. Linen seed. Corn seed and coffee bean seed. Water. Sure, it does look great. Okay, watered. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget, you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Oh, man. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I'm hungry and need food. I know. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spiritfarer, and spiritfarers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go, let's sail. Alright. 
We're gonna do that, but first I gotta make some food for you. Uh, kitchen. Popcorn. All right. Oops. All right. And we're going to do that one more time. happens if you overcook something? Can you burn it? Okay. Um. I'm gonna see what happens when you cook some raspberries up. Cabbage? Carrots? Potatoes? Name the cat Butter Cheese. The cat's name is Daffodil, actually. According to the game. I mean, you can name it whatever you like. You could name it Fluffernutter for, you know... Okay. Let's see what we made. Poached fruit. What the heck is poached fruit? Slightly more filling than raw fruit, easier to chew. The simplest dessert there is. All right, well, not very exciting, but. I gotta go feed. Whoops, gotta go feed Stella. Hmm, I could go for a muse bouche. All right. Let's check out your mood. You're hungry. Yeah, I know. We got that covered. We got that covered. With your favorite comfort food. Please, I can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. Oh. Oh, shoot. That's right. Um, I forgot about that. Um... All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes. All right, I gotta go... Hold on, then. I gotta go make... Where's the kitchen? All right, I gotta go make you some fish, which you don't, which is, you don't mind that fish. So, the problem with herring is it takes too long. Clearly, Ali, dear Abby. <laughs> That's basically poached fruit. I don't, I guess so. <coughs> but I mean, the idea that you cook it and then, I don't know, I hadn't thought about it. Anyway, hi, Rhiannon. All right, I'm going to feed her this fish, and then I can feed her some corn, and then I got to get going here to uh, the island. And then in a few minutes here, we're going to have to wrap up so I can get ready for the GOGCOM stream, Pen and Pixels, with the power of Talisman, which is going to have myself and Darksaber and uh, at least one and perhaps two mystery guest stars. So you're going to want that. Poached pears with ricotta and chocolate drizzle. Mm. I've always been kind of lukewarm about pears. I always think they're okay, but whenever I'm eating a pear, I always feel like I could be eating an apple. I don't mind them, but... Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, first of all, eat this. Thanks, I love it. And... Nope, not hungry yet. Shot the raccoon. 
Favorite food is black coffee. That's right. All right. Let's get over here. Let's, um... What are we doing? We are doing something important that I forgot. We're going to this place to find this dude, this spirit that needs help. No, I've had, I've had a pair. Haha, <laughs> nice echo. Thank you. I've had pears. I, I just, they're just not my favorite thing. I, I don't mind them actually that much, but. But the problem is I'm going to run into that storm and I'm not able to do, deal with that probably. How are these doing? Let me cook some more herring. Nope, I keep forgetting. Uh. Hey, what's up, Lathy Organis? Yeah, like it, like I say, I don't mind pears. It's just that I eat them, and I'm always like, eh. I like this better when it was an apple. Oh, yeah. I don't love peaches either. I like, um, I like apples a lot. I like blueberries a lot. Um, I like strawberries. Um, raspberries are okay in the right situations. Um, obviously I like bananas. Um, watermelon is okay, although I don't love it. Um, pineapple can be okay. Kind of depends on the texture of some of these fruits. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Got it. Woo! Barkenshine with Creek discovered. Alright, good. I found that. I got that herring food. That stuff cooked in time. Alright. Um... Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Let's get some wood. Really want to know how much the cat's doing. It's like an up dog. All right, and food. Hey. Oh, great! You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless... It's just down there. In the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Ha <laughs> Sturma. I hope you slept well. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. Hell yeah! I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Yeah, we gotta cook! We've got ourselves a cook, people. Cook achieved. I mean, I feel like the most important person on board the ship is likely to be the cook. 
Yeah, true. That was a little sketchy, Cujo. I'm sure you'll need someone who could make repairs on your boat at some point. This dude was a frog, apparently. Alright. Let's go back to the ship. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's not going to let me go in there? Stella! Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards! Oh, but wait a second. Is that a... I knew it! Um. That's a Seamaster 2000! I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Oh, wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. What? A squid! We got us some calamari, people. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace-level fishing has got me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea was it does, but I found our first mistake in the game. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. It should have been what, but it was a mistake. Maybe you could hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll take go and take a look around. Ooh, take go and take. Second mistake. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. We got a second oval. Okay, we need that for that double jump. All right, first of all, I'm going to go in here. Water. Water. Okay, then we're going to go to get that double jump. Right. Good. Awesome. Okay. Uh... Oh, shoot. Okay, fine. We're all saying it wrong? Let's do this. We're going to get someplace. We're going to... We're going back to Hummingbird. Okay. Alright. Wakey, wakey! Would you look at that. You've got two obols. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? Yes, I might almost be going back to it right now as we speak. Gwen. I'll try and add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. 
If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Relax, you need to calm down with that bell. When you ring it at night, people will get up. Nobody likes to be woken up, especially me. I did, it was morning time. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight, it will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. I almost forgot, have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightnings in bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. I really like the frog. Zap! The music, though. This is sweet. Dude, with the music, too? Oh, shoot. No! There we go. I'm surprised that they do as much as they do with height. I think it's cool that, like... Cool. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You looked pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. Every, you know what I have to say? The one thing about this game that really strikes me... I can't remember the last game where every NPC is universally pleased with you all the time. They're just like, you're amazing, you're doing a great job. Like, it's the most wholesome, like, you're an awesome captain, you're the most amazing this. Like, the incredible that. They're just, they just... Alright. He's hungry. Absolutely he's hungry. Uh, let me give you some food. You clearly are going to want a grilled fish. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Um, my stomach isn't rumbling yet. Wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? I like this. I like the frog a lot. Okay. Uh, ooh, hey, look, there's... Corn! Okay. I just gotta turn this in at this island here. I look at him, I see Trendane. Yeah. I can imagine that. Alright, I'm just gonna turn in. I wanna get this double jump. Yep, double jump. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> double jump. Double tone. <laughs> now can I get up there? Yes, I can. Good job. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. 
I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Okay, well... <laughs> yes, young person. Can I assume you're a busy? Of course you're busy. Uh, wait a second. Uh, you don't have a full-service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Oh boy, it's gonna be franchising. I can already tell. Wait, what? Once the smoke clears. It's true. Upstairs crew forever, yeah. Mm -hmm. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. Hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. Okay, that sounds like a personal problem. What? Oh. Well, who gave me such a fright? That cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? And that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? You've came to rescue me again. I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. Oh, nice. We got a new person for the boat. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't let me? Unfortunate. Hey, Stelio. Alright, let me get, uh... Let me get on out of here, get back up to the ship, and then I really do have to stop. We made the upstairs crew. That's the real key to this whole situation. Upstairs, where everyone wants to be. Where's that guy when I need money? All right. Over here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. It's a snake. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Very cool. Interesting. Very interesting. It feels like it's a combination of a number of different kind of games, and it's interesting. Um, I, I think I like it. I don't. I don't know if I love the managing of like I have to like tend to this, like water that, go feed the people here. I don't love micromanagement games like that necessarily. But I like the art style a lot. I like the sort of story basic basis quality of it. And I like the idea of the platforming and gaining abilities that way. I just don't know that I like that on top of also harvesting and feel... I don't know. 
I get worried that it's a little bit too kind of busy work type of game, but who knows? But yes, I, I am. I really like the idea of those different characters that reveal themselves. And that frog is a bro, so I dig that. Good stuff, good stuff. This is something I could see myself coming back to in the future. Um, and uh, yeah, so you have seen a little bit of Spiritfarer, and I hope folks enjoyed it. But Stalio is correct. A bird may have told you, and it is correct that there is some talisman coming up. So I've got to get out of here because we have talisman coming up at the top of the hour. I'm doing the release stream on GOG for talisman, which is exciting. I've got myself and Darksaber 2K and a couple of mystery guests who will be joining us. So the time has come. Yeah, but it's it's not high on the list though, Arudinel. Um, Not because I dislike it, but just because it's I've got plenty of other games that would go up there first, so don't worry. It's not going to jump in front of the other stuff. My plan is still to finish is still to finish um, Kingdoms of Amalur, and then to do Never Alone, which is like a one session thing, and then after that, um, next is Final Fantasy VII remake. So we're still on track for that. We're going to be doing that too. Yeah, but Cyberpunk. I mean, I'll probably play it because I got a free copy of it, and I I imagine I'll play it, but I'm not. I'm not that fired up about cyberpunk, honestly. Cyberpunk isn't really my genre to begin with. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm interested to try it because it's a cool role-playing experience, probably. And I imagine I will. But when everyone and their brother is trying cyberpunk, you know, um, I'm not 100% sure that would be my first thing that will be up there. So we'll, we'll get there, you know. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But, yes, um, that, is, that is true. I'm making extremely slow progress on this game list um but yeah this will be somewhere on the list but it's going to be lower down i think so we will we will see how that all happens anyway i hope you folks enjoyed spirit fairer and if so i hope you will do a few things i hope you'll follow the channel i hope you will check out my youtube with exclamation point rf tube twitter with exclamation point rf tweets discord with exclamation point rf cord and website rvanellaron.com on the financial side exclamation point rf shop is my area where you can support the infinity and beyond crew uh where you can get infinity and beyond merchandise i should say and where you can also get adventures in middle earth merchandise soon to be esper genesis stuff there as well exclamation point arv treon is right over there you will notice that it has gone up a little bit we had a patron jump on board uh with a monthly contribution which brings us up to that amount it was a nice per month contribution also so uh and they they did this to uh, for a year so they actually got it got in ahead of time which is great um and the more of that we get the better it is for everyone because it really helps me kind of plan out over the course of a series of months so that's great hopefully we'll continue to make progress on that front good stuff for you and good stuff for the channel also subbing to the channel as a couple of people have done today that also really helps uh good stuff for you and the channel including inspirations for the players you can get that with the patreon as well uh and of course custom sub badges and emotes and all all that kind of good stuff too and then last we have the publishing stuff exclamation point icarus for my icarus and Jelenic graphic novel details coming out on november 10th of this year in retail exclamation point uh, library for tales and tomes from the forbidden library coming out in print sometime by the end of the year from alligator alley entertainment really excited about that exclamation point gray shade ks for my gray shade kickstarter which is going to be launching <coughs> excuse me uh february's <coughs> excuse me February 2nd of next year. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And uh, and I think that's the only thing I need to mention about those things, except to say keep an eye out as well for the In the Moment anthology, which is going to be launching from Athos Arts next month. I'm not involved with that. I don't have anything coming out through it or whatever, but I am excited about the fact that such an anthology exists. And so I'm excited to support my Icarus and Jelinek publishers and a lot of friends of mine that are authors that are contributing to that volume. Um, and then uh, also, of course, the Sound Clash Clampdown uh, fundraiser, which is a one day only thing. That's not happening till November, but just be aware that Brandon is going to be doing some awesome stuff in November as far as that's concerned. Otherwise, um, the other thing to mention is, of course, exclamation point BLM, Black Lives Matter. Um, again, we're going to continue to push this and the importance of pushing this. So it's really important that we continue to support the idea that black lives do matter and protecting black lives um, is extremely important. So make sure that you go over there to check out educational resources, resources about uh, about police reform, about um, political advocacy, stuff like that. And then, of course, uh, also places where you can donate as well. Exclamation point vote now is, again, information on how you can register to vote right this second and make a plan.
plan to early vote and do all that kind of good stuff because that is really important to do that as well. Make sure you do that too. And last but certainly not least, of course, um, the uh, important thing to remember here is that I'm going to be over um, over at GOGCom in about 28 minutes with the release stream of Talisman. I'm super excited for that. So if you want to see uh, and cheer me on as I uh, play against some intrepid adventurers, including Darksaber 2K and a couple of other mystery guests, then you'll want to stop by there at 4 p.m. So. Yeah, well, the November thing is mostly just, you know, I hate to say it that way, Arudinell, I guess, but yeah, I'm trying to do this ahead of time if I can. That's why we also tried to spread out things. That's one of the reasons why we have the Gray Shade Kickstarter coming out in February, because we thought that way, not only will we have everything in place, but it'll be far enough away from every other kind of fundraiser. It's also like five months away from ARFCON and stuff like that. So the hope is that way, you know, people can recover at least my folks but i'm hoping that we'll get a very broad base of people that will be interested in that book game you know audiobook and all that other stuff we hope but we'll see anyway um that's what we've got going on much love to all of you uh thank you so much for being here and i'm going to see you folks over in godcom at 4 p.m thank you to my wonderful mods arudinell dragonspear hillness thank you so much to my wonderful uh subscribers arudinell dragonspear hillness thank you to echo alpha x5 also for putting up all of the stuff on multiple occasions thank you echo thank you to nonstop to his terma to mrs dunsell and to trish thank you so much to my viewers um I saw, I saw for a minute co-carnage, but it's actually co-catnage, but welcome anyway, co-catnage. Very happy, pleasure to have you here. Commander Root, Cujo, Detective Halligan, Ekeg, Get Affiliated Now, Gigafrost, Gorgar, Jagtris, Latharcanus, Lurks, uh, Peter Rustel, Rhiannon, Remastino, uh, Saddest Kitty, Scon TV, Stalio, U. Christensen, BNK, Virgo Praz. Thank you all so much. Thanks for the follow, co-catnage. I appreciate that. And I will see all of you lovely people uh, over at GOG in just about 25 minutes. Otherwise, I'll be back here, by the way, on Friday, uh, probably with Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I will figure that out. Remember, Saturday, I have that special collaborative stream with Sneaky Teak. He and I are going to be playing at 7 p.m. some Vermintide 2. So if you want to see us stem the Vermintide, um, that is what we're going to try to do. So that's it for me. Much love. Thanks, everybody. Be good to each other. And I'll see you over at GOG.com in about 25 minutes or so. Bye for now. Oh, and Second Obs has subscribed to Tier 1. They've subscribed for six months. Welcome back, Second Obs. Welcome back. I was just about to like a log off the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aw, oh, that's excited. Thanks, Arudno. I appreciate it, dude. But, but, you know, you're just so generous and, like, not just, I'm not talking to money. I'm also talking about, you know, time and, like, connection with the community. So I appreciate it, Arudno. Thank you, thank you. Um, Thank you so much, Second Ops. It's good to see you again. The coveted six-month badge. I'm rising up on out because I got to go to GOGCOM, but hopefully I'll see you over there. If not, I'll see you back on this channel. Enjoy this, the custom sub badge and emotes and all that good stuff, and thank you, thank you. Bye for now, everyone. Much love.